My friends, it has been a while. I'm so sorry that I was gone from YouTube for so long. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been struggling a little bit with my mental health and then with all that's happened in the world with COVID to the Black Lives Matter movement, which I want to say now Black Lives Matter, they always have, they always will. I'm going to leave a bunch of links down below where you can help. Uh, between all of that, it just didn't feel like the right time and space for me to come and make content on YouTube, but I'm back and I wanted to do something very, very easy. Haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately. There's just one look that I have been wearing when I do want to wear makeup. It's on my Instagram. There's heaps of photos of this exact same look just with a different lip. Let's do it. Stop talking. I feel like I'm going to talk a lot this video because I haven't seen you guys in a while. All right, where to start? I may be a little rusty, guys. Please forgive me. I'm gonna start with an under eye concealer. This one I'm gonna use more as a corrector. Bobbi Brown Concealer in Warm Honey. Come a little closer. Where this darkness is, it's a bit of a peachier tone, so it's just gonna help to camouflage. Then straight over the top, I'm going to go in with my Dior Backstage. This is in the shade 3W. For some extra brightening, I'm going in with my Giorgio Armani Concealer in 7.75 under the eyes. Go over this guy. And then I'm going to leave it to dry down a little bit. If you've been on this channel a while, you know that this will help give you a little bit more coverage where you need it. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to bronze my face. Students form the butter bronzer. Then with your foundation brush, you can go back in and just very gently define that cheekbone a little bit more. Bit of a reverse contour. Okay, let's blend out this concealer with a little sponge. And then you wanna powder that product right away if you struggle with creasing. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to, I'm gonna use quite a fluffy brush. I'm gonna get him loaded and ready. And then before I pat that in, taking my sponge one more time just to make sure there are no creases. And then, it's a very light dusting. Then just with the same brush I use for my bronzer and pat everywhere else. Okay, before I move on to my eyes, I'm gonna contour my nose because funnily enough, that is a big feature of this look that makes it look really like cutesy. Uh, so I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula. The truck is so loud. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, same that we used on the cheekbones, all of that. And I'm going to use a small brush, just shading in kind of this whole triangle area. And as always, this nose contour is gonna look crazy before it looks good, so bear with me. We're going to run that down the sides of the nose. Then the whole underside of your nose, I'm going to shade in. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this nose contour before, but essentially we're creating a really cute button nose. So I'm going to go across, keeping this ball tip. So I've created quite a pronounced tip there. And then, so it doesn't look too odd, I'm going to Drag that down the sides as well. So you can see I've gone quite heavy with the lines. I'm gonna take my same powder brush that I've been using for my bronzer and my powders and lightly fluff it anywhere where you have super harsh lines. So then hopefully what remains is a little bit more of a suggestion of a nose contour. Could be real, could be a shitload of bronzer. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more bronzer to my cheeks just to match the depth in the nose, because otherwise it looks a bit odd. Okay, cute, I love that for me. I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm gonna use the same bronzer. That's what's kind of giving this whole look a very, I wanna say natural, but it's not a natural look, but um, 
understated maybe, an understated look, uh, is that all the tones tie in together. So I'm using my same bronzer on a fluffy brush. Start with circular motions, it's just on this outer corner. And I'm going to run that along and connect it in to where we started. That nose contour at the top of the nose bridge there. And then I'm going to drag it up and into the temple. So we're creating we're creating a kind of lifted eye look. It's going to be kind of a cat eye shape, but keeping all the color in this triangle shape. I told you guys I was gonna be rusty. Okay, now that we've contoured that eye shape a little bit, I'm going to go into my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. A mix of this one, which is Fresh Picked, with this deep shade, Peach Tart. Very gently tap that in the corner of the eye, and I'm gonna stick within that same V shape. So just deposit all that color first. And then once again, drag that in and up into the tongue. Now we're going to do a wing liner. This is Mecca Max Wink Ink Super Liquid Liner. Mark out the top line first from the middle of the eye. And then from the tip, I will connect it in. And then fill in the gap. I feel like my hoodie is choking me. Okay, well, let's do my eyebrows while I have this palette out because I've been actually filling in my brows just with a dark eyeshadow. So taking chocolate dipped on an angled brush, starting on the tail end where I need a little bit more help. And just basically shading in any gaps. With the front of the brow, create a line just there. And then push the product up into the brow. Sometimes I want an extra hairy, fluffy look. I use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. It's one of those felt tip style pens. I'm just going to angle it so my hand's going to be angling them in the right direction, if that makes sense. It makes it a bit easier to draw. And I'm essentially just going to add some hair-like strokes. Blush time, my favorite part of the video. I'm going to use my Milani Baked Bra Break Baked Blush. I don't know the shade name, but I'll put it down below. As I said, the nose is a bit of a feature, so I'm gonna start on the bridge and tap there and then pop a little bit on the tip as well and then I'm going to pop some on the cheekbones then we're gonna blend that all together into each other Nice lifted flush, and then you don't want to look crazy. Although this is a crazy blushy look, um, I still want to tie it in with the rest of the face. So I like to put a little bit on the forehead and a tiniest bit on the chin. Back to my Just Peachy Mattes palette. I'm going to do freckles now. And normally I'd use a very, very skinny, like a lip brush or something like that, but I just have an angled brush handy. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to go into this chocolate brown with the very tip of my brush. And then I'm going to use varying pressures to create some darker freckles. And then with a lighter hand, some lighter, less noticeable ones. I might turn this guy into a freckle. So I'm just keeping them around the nose. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to take off the top layer of powder from those uh, freckles. So it kind of looks a little bit less powdery and more part of your skin. 
And then I naturally have quite a few sunspots and freckles on my cheekbones, so I'm going to accentuate a few of those. Okay, then with a eyebrow pencil, this is the benefit one. Uh, I'm gonna go over all my beauty spots. So freaking cute. So let's lock the face in and then I'll do my mascara and lippy. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter, ultra matte version, which they sent me in the mail. I really like it. Almost forgot a very essential part of the nose, which is a highlight. I haven't been using highlighter on my cheeks at all recently. I don't know, I just haven't really been feeling it. But I'm gonna use the Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer on the very tip of the nose. And also just here. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with a clean, fluffy brush. Mascara, I'm using the Total Bay Own It Mascara by Napoleon Purse. Okay, that's the whole look done, except for the lips. I'm actually gonna do a quick hair tutorial that you guys have been asking for. Um, film that and then come back and finish off with the lips. Okay, uh, we back, baby. How cute is this? Hair start. It's like my favorite go-to hair start at the moment. So that will be our next video. Finally, we are going to finish off the makeup look with a bold red lip. Uh, I actually can't find the lippy that I normally use. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Latex Love in the shade Studio Fix Studio 64. Oh my god. Studio 54, duh, Rachel. It's probably in one of my handbags, but I can't find it. So I'm going to go in instead with Branding Has Run Up. Run. I can't talk anymore. I think it's a Sudden Park crayon, a lip crayon. It's the dual ended one with a little puff at the other side. I'm pretty sure the brand is Sudden Park. I'm just going to use the crayon side to fill in my lips. It doesn't have to be too tidy. It's just essentially to lay down a uh, bit of a base for the next product, which is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro. And then I just rub my lips together and I really don't care for a clean lip line. If you're looking for that, she's not here. I'm gonna go back over this guy. He always just gets a little lost under my lipstick, you know? But that is it. This is the final makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this very simple but cute snatch. And if you guys want to hang out every day, I post on Instagram every single day. And if not, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be this cute ass hair tutorial. I will see you guys then. I love you all so much. Mwah.